Taiwan election lies victory and the path forward. Welcome to our video analysis on the recent Taiwan election titled Taiwan election lies victory and the path forward. In this segment, we delve into the intricacies of Lai Chin to triumph and the strategic landscape that will shape Taiwan's future political trajectory. The keyword Taiwan election is at the forefront of our discussion as we explore the nuanced dynamics between parties, focusing on how Lai's victory reflects not only on the Democratic Progressive Party DPP but also on the broader geopolitical considerations involving China and the United States. Join us as we unravel the implications of this electoral outcome and discuss the potential directions Taiwan may take in the aftermath of this critical political event. Let's talk about Lai Chin Tush winning the Taiwan election. Lai Chin Tush Hu Wenji and Hu Yuyi received a combined 60 of the vote, and Xi Jinping would likely say that they won again because Lai Qing Tush did not receive 50. That's what he would say. However, according to some claims, the legislative yuan says that the Democratic Progressive Party does not have a majority and may only have around 45, which may lead to some defections during Lai Ching Tushi's governance. But I think the most important issue for Taiwan right now is not domestic issues, but foreign affairs, external issues. This is because the president determines foreign policy while domestic issues are less significant. We can say that Taiwan has done a good job in handling domestic issues over the years. The key point is foreign policy. It is clear that the same happens in the United States, where domestic issues are constantly fluctuating between the two parties. This is because long-term rule by one party can lead to corruption. However, in terms of foreign policy in the United States, it is important to determine whether the country will follow an isolationist or a globalist approach. For example, when Roosevelt served as president for several decades, particularly in the lead-up to World War II, he pursued a consistent foreign policy line. Regarding domestic policy, during Roosevelt's presidency, he did not have complete control over Congress, as there were also isolationists within the government. However, the crucial point is that foreign policy is paramount. Foreign policy determines national security, and as Taiwan currently lacks a sense of Security. Security is one of the three most important aspects of a nation, along with diplomacy and the military. Many people are concerned about Australia, but even if the Labour Party wins, the United States would not be worried about China taking over Australia. This is because in terms of foreign policy, even if the party's leader is pro-China, the United States has intelligence and military ties with Australia, ensuring that it remains aligned with the United States. The same goes for the Philippines, and even more so for Japan and South Korea. The United States does not need to worry about these countries, even if pro-China leaders like Moon Jae-in are elected, because the United States maintains 100 control over intelligence and the military. This is also the case for Japan and the Philippines. Therefore, we want to explain why Taiwan lacks a sense of security. This is very important. The U.S. National Defense Authorization Act clearly states that in 2024, Taiwan's military will undergo training and its system will be revamped. This is the key. To be honest, the Kuomintang KMT controlling the Taiwanese military puts the nation's security at a critical juncture with significant infiltration by the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. It seems that a substantial portion, around 50-60%, of the military has already 
being compromised. If they manage to take control of the presidency again, Taiwan could be on the brink of losing its sovereignty. However, the Taiwanese people have become increasingly aware of the situation. The upcoming election is distinct from 2020 because the people now recognize the extent of corruption and CCP influence within the Taiwanese military. The stakes are higher, and the fear of losing Taiwan to a one country, two systems scenario is palpable. The importance of preventing the CCP from undermining Taiwan's internal security cannot be overstated. The election of Lai Qingdi as president is seen as a crucial step in thwarting internal subversion. The focus shifts to 2024 as a time for counteraction, considering the infiltration of intelligence systems and the undeniable CCP influence in the military. Reclaiming control over these two fronts is paramount for the Taiwanese people. It's essential that these battles are led by individuals committed to Taiwan's interests, as trust in figures like Ma Yingju, who expressed confidence in Xi Jinping, is eroding. Xi Jinping is well aware that Lai Qingdi's potential election would be a significant setback for him. However, she has prepared a contingency plan expected to unfold after Lai's potential victory, likely around May. The United States, anticipating CCP interference, has already expressed its readiness to intervene. Post-election, Lai Qingdi's potential presidency is just the beginning of the real challenges. The term hard battles is akin to the situation faced by Zelensky in Ukraine. She's subsequent moves involve an escalation of internal subversion. The core of CCP is power in Taiwan, particularly in terms of illicit financial activities, will be targeted. This involves tackling the dark politics within Taiwan's legislative institutions and addressing Military issues, a scenario that undoubtedly leads to conflicts and confrontations. In essence, the post-election period is comparable to Zelensky's experience, where the CCP, having lost a significant battle, will resort to an upgraded version of internal subversion tactics. This is anticipated to continue until the end of 2024. Coinciding with the U.S. presidential election, Taiwan should brace itself for a tumultuous period, especially in the face of CCP interference and provocations before May. The recent revelation of Taiwan's dark political landscape further underscores the urgency of addressing these issues. The keyword Taiwan election encapsulates the critical juncture and challenges faced. In this pivotal moment in Taiwan's political landscape, in certain regions, the influence of illicit financial activities is substantial and potent, enough to incite various issues. Therefore, with Lai Qingdi's election today, it essentially signals a progression into the next phase. The CCP is expected to deploy continuous covert tactics. Many speculate the possibility of military actions, particularly towards the end of 2024. This time frame presents a strategic opportunity for Xi Jinping aligning with the U.S. presidential election, creating a window of vulnerability. Whether this period remains stable depends on events that may impede Xi's actions. Lai Qingdi's victory in this election marks the commencement of significant challenges. Traditionally, a party tends to face resistance after two consecutive terms in power and the Taiwanese people may seek change. Additionally, Kai Yuan's eight years in power saw shortcomings in addressing security and diplomatic issues. The Democratic Progressive Party's governance exposed the corruption, adding to the unfavorable conditions for Lai Qingdi's candidacy. Overcoming these obstacles to win the presidential election is commendable. 
the crux lies in Lai Qingdi's mission to guide Taiwan towards true freedom and independence, ensuring the island's resilience regardless of political shifts. The key is to establish Taiwan as a bastion of democracy, impervious to external influences. This election places a heavy responsibility on Lai Qingdi to fulfill a mission that was not accomplished during Kai Yuan's tenure. Despite the challenges, including economic pressure from the CCP, Lai Qingdi's victory is a testament to his commitment. The critical mission ahead involves securing the return of U.S. military bases to Taiwan, a move that would transform the security landscape and free Taiwanese citizens from compulsory military service. Joining international alliances such as the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue Quad and Trilateral Talks with the U.S., Japan, and South Korea further fortifies Taiwan's position. The integration into intelligence sharing networks like the Five Eyes Alliance and implementing legislation akin to the racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations RICO Act would ensure Taiwan's resilience against any external threats, including criminal organizations. In essence, Lai Qingdi's victory in the Taiwan election marks the beginning of a crucial phase where Taiwan strives for true independence and safeguards its sovereignty against external influences. When it comes to economic matters, Sure, go ahead and do business with the mainland, no problem. But let's be honest, there's always that lingering concern when engaging in business. Now isn't there? Essentially, it boils down to the fact that if your two crucial lands of real security aren't rock solid, you can't truly feel at ease. Therefore, Taiwan must transition from mere electoral politics to genuinely advancing its position. With Lai Qingdi's election this time, I believe he can undoubtedly drive this progress. Unlike Kei Ing-wen, who had a somewhat cautious approach, Lai Qingdi is only afraid to provoke and lay a solid foundation. Realizing true multi-party rotation is beneficial for internal affairs, even if it requires sacrificing a bit during this critical time. The flexibility of democracy is crucial, as demonstrated by historical moments like Roosevelt's wartime measures in the U.S. China is genuinely apprehensive about Lai Qingdi's election because every move in the upcoming steps has been meticulously prepared by the U.S., as outlined in the 2020 National Defense Authorization Act, F-16s have been upgraded, indicating a robust defense against any attempt by the CCP to take Taiwan. The critical mission ahead involves sacrificing some internal affairs temporarily for the greater cause. In times of war, even democratic nations like the U.S. have demonstrated the need to prioritize external threats over internal concerns. The key is to maintain flexibility in democracy, especially during critical moments. China fears Lai Qingdi's presidency because it disrupts their calculated plans and the U.S. is well prepared for each step, making it challenging for the CCP to carry out its schemes. Lai Qingdi's election marks the beginning of a crucial phase for Taiwan's pursuit of true independence and sovereignty. It is a call for resilience against external influences and a commitment to securing the island's future irrespective of political shifts. The Taiwan election outcome is a testament to the people's desire for a leader who will safeguard their freedom and independence. Lai Qingdi's most crucial ideology revolves around the belief that peace is achieved through strength. This is a concept he emphasizes, distinguishing himself from Kai Guan. In essence, strength in this context refers to economic independence from mainland China. Lai Qingdi envisions Taiwan expanding its global presence, 
much like Japan or Israel, rather than relying on China. The second aspect of peace, according to him, lies in national security built on self-reliance. Akin to Israel's approach in the Asia-Pacific region, Lai Qingdi advocates for Taiwan to emulate Israel, a small nation with robust technological capabilities and a genuine understanding of national security as the defense of freedom and independence. Lai Qingdi's outland path is clear and explicitly targets the weaknesses of the CCP. His approach involves making Taiwan genuinely powerful in terms of military and intelligence capabilities. Drawing parallels with Israel, he highlights the need for Taiwan to be a staunch ally of the U.S., just as Israel relies on American support for its defense. This strategy involves substantial military aid and equipment, similar to the billions of dollars worth of supplies the U.S. provides to Israel. By adopting a strong defense posture and signing strategic defense agreements with the U.S., Taiwan can strengthen its position without the need for constant military purchases. Lai Qingdi's vision is a departure from the previous approach of balancing between pro-China and pro-U.S. sentiments. He aims to break the current status quo and directly engage with the U.S. entering the White House and Congress. The goal is to establish direct contact with U.S. leadership, participate in the United Nations, potentially oust the CCP from the UNI Security Council, and fundamentally alter Taiwan's position on the global stage. The emphasis is on breaking free from the fear of upsetting China as seen in the previous administration's reluctance. Lai Qingdi envisions a Taiwan that is economically robust, globally engaged, and secure in its independence, a departure from the conventional electoral politics. The focus of the Taiwan election should shift towards a clear direction, steering away from the prior cycle of elections maintaining the status quo. As we conclude our insightful analysis of Taiwan election, lies victory and the pass forward, it's evident that the keyword Taiwan election encapsulates the essence of this pivotal political moment. Lai Qingdi's win reverberates beyond mere party lines, influencing Taiwan's stance on security, economic independence, and global partnerships. If you found this video helpful in understanding the intricate layers of Taiwan's political landscape, remember to like, share, and smash that subscribe button for more in-depth analysis. Stay tuned to the Capture the Intelligence channel for the latest updates on the Taiwan election aftermath and other critical global affairs. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you valuable insights.